don't have vaccines, and now you're precluding them from going to gyms and restaurants. And what about the people working in the restaurants? What about right. all these? It's fucking madness. And then you have a bunch of people that are supporting it. Like, yay, finally. <laughs> Meanwhile, you have science is coming out. There's legitimate articles. Jamie, I'll send this to you now. There's legitimate articles. Because doctors have been sending me these things. And, you know, this is neither pro nor con vaccine. I'm not, this is not a judgment statement. But imperfect vaccination can enhance the transmission of highly virulent pathogens. Right. So this is a scientific paper um, from 2015 that shows that if here's it said there's this one important quote vaccines that keep the host alive but still allow transmission oh. can thus allow virulent strains to circulate in a population so vaccines that don't kill the virus vaccines that allow people like this is one of the things we're finding out about what they're calling breakthrough cases right so people who are vaccinated can still get covid and they can still transmit covid mm -hmm. this recently happened at the comedy store a vaccinated comedian gave covid to like 12 different fucking people at the comedy store some of them vaccinated some of them not that situation where the vaccine just kind of protects you from serious damage right but it protects you from really being like badly uh, hospitalized or death but doesn't stop you from getting the virus can possibly lead to more potent viruses so these people that are saying oh it's these unvaccinated people that are responsible for the variants well, there's actually scientific papers that point to the very sort of environment that we're creating by having so many people vaccinated with a vaccine that doesn't kill off right. the virus. It actually can lead to more potent viruses. Try finding that story anywhere. Other than doctors, I'm, I'm getting yeah. PhDs sending me these things. Guys who won't speak about it publicly because they're worried about right. the blowback. People who are physicians, people who are even even epidemiologists, even people that deal with diseases and viruses, they're concerned. And they, they don't want to talk about it publicly because people call them anti-vaxxers. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's really wild out there. Oh, it's wild because they've somehow managed, and when I say they, meaning the political elite and then I think their established media representatives, have somehow managed to turn this into a political issue. Right, mm -hmm. and that's dangerous. Like, it, it's dangerous for any politician to play in that game where they're using something as meaningful and quite possibly dangerous for the country as political posturing or virtue signaling. Right?